Welcome to the Crypto Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is September 2nd, 2024, and we have a fascinating lineup of stories from the world of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Remember, links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Let's start with the buzz around the base introduced NFT and the new base token. This NFT, launched during the base testnet in February 2023, has seen over 485,000 mints across more than 370,000 wallets, making it one of the most widely distributed NFTs. Despite BASE not having an official native token yet, there's a strong demand for community exposure. An unofficial BASE token initiative by Scrovina is gaining traction, using the BASE introduced NFT as a proxy. Moving on to Polymarket, a prediction market platform that's experiencing a surge in activity. With nearly $550 million in bets across its largest markets, Polymarket is attracting new users. A beginner's guide is available for those interested in exploring this platform. The thread also touches on AI art creation with Midjourney, crypto investment risks, and Solana's technological advancements, particularly in Layer 2 solutions and roll-ups. Next, we delve into Rumple, a point tokenization protocol set to launch in mid-September. Backed by investors like Dragonfly and Variant, and developed by a team with experience from MakerDAO and Aave, Rumpel aims to revolutionize point systems in the crypto space. By creating a secondary marketplace for trading point exposure, Rumpel offers users liquidity and flexibility. The protocol allows point farmers to sell points, earn yields, and mitigate airdrop risks, benefiting all stakeholders. Rumpel's early access program is invite-only, rewarding participants with Rumpel Straw its native point. The mainnet launch will support various partner point issuers, enhancing liquidity for their programs. Upcoming integrations include partnerships with platforms like Rainmaker Wallet. The project is actively engaging the community and plans to release technical documentation soon. Now, let's explore Layer 2 blockchains, essential for scaling Ethereum. L2s are often misunderstood, but they offer cost-effective solutions compared to Layer 1 chains. By batching transactions and sending them as compressed data to L1, L2s significantly increase transaction throughput while maintaining security and finality. This guide explains how L2s function using optimistic and zero-knowledge proofs for economic security and cryptographic verification. Finally, we discuss Eigenlayer, a project focused on expanding decentralized trust. The concept of restaking allows validators to use staked Ethereum to secure additional services. With 28% of circulating ETH staked, Eigenlayer emphasizes that restaking enhances validator responsibilities and opportunities. The idea of intersubjectivity is introduced, addressing social truths not verifiable on chain. Eigenlayer plans to implement a dual token model to tackle these challenges, aiming to innovate within decentralized finance. That's all for today's episode of the Crypto Daily News. We hope you found these stories insightful and engaging. Don't forget to check the episode notes for links to all the stories covered today. Join us again tomorrow for more updates from the world of cryptocurrency and blockchain. Until then, stay informed and stay secure.